Hey there, uh, this is Jay, uh, back here once once again. Uh, another video for uh, Sabre that just uh, just got finished up this afternoon, or this morning actually. Um, this is uh, Chrome Sabre 15. Uh, this has been uh, um, built and sold, I think it was almost three years ago, uh, since the last time I had my hands on it. Um, <clears throat> uh, currently belongs to a member of the FX Sabre's uh, uh, Forums uh, goes by Lady Hawk. Uh, she apparently uh, had purchased it from the uh, original owner who bought it from me. Uh, when when she got a hold of it, there was no soundboard, uh, and I think that was all that was missing. It had everything else, uh, but uh, she decided she wanted to uh, go with the uh, higher end board, so it now has a uh, Crystal Focus uh, version uh, 5.1, 5.6, whichever one it was. Um, <clears throat> Still, you know, it pretty much looks the same from the outward appearance, uh, except for the addition of the auxiliary effects button. And we added a, uh, an illuminated anti-vandal switch, which to me looks a hell of a lot better on here than the, uh, the guarded style that was on it before. I uh, wish we'd started using these a long time ago. So, uh, in order for this to use the, uh, the CF, had to uh, totally remove all the electronics with it because it still had the battery pack and the uh, speaker mount and all that all that jazz in there. So now we have a uh, mega base using the TCSS um, chassis type system. There we go. This is about as far as you can pull this out. And there's your SD card access right there. Let me just uh, push this back in. As far as it goes, well, this is the first attempt I ever made at actually putting a uh, soundboard into a chassis. I mean, it's not nothing pretty. It just it just works. It's not a reveal type. So, honestly, you just there's no room for any wires in here for this to actually be able to slide it out far enough. So I'm gonna shut up now and uh, we'll start it up here. This is really loud. Uh, this has got to be probably the loudest. Uh, um, well got to be the loudest saber I probably have ever built. Um, so a green AV switch and I color mixed the 10 watt lead engine LED for cyan which you will. There you go. Now you can see it. And I just got in the mail the other day my, my extra package of uh, LEDs so now we have the uh, flash on flash wired up. So the lead engine uh, RGB W. Yeah, we're using the red for the FOC, which could be uh, for the blade out. It gives it a reddish, a reddish uh, white flash. A the blade. A nice cyan color. Okay, so that is font number one. That is, uh, I believe it's Best Bin 2 by Mad Cow. So we'll go into one of the other fonts here. newest ones. This is, uh, this is kind of neat. It's intended to be a little short, you know, obviously a Shoto type saber, but uh, it's got a high pitch whine to the, uh, to the hum. I do have blaster move enabled. Battery power in this one is uh, provided by the uh, a dual 18500s in a stick form. It should run for about, uh, I'm going to guess probably an hour and a half, between an hour and an hour and a half.
you know, this one, uh, this one took quite a while to get done, but at least I, I feel like I've done it, done it right, uh, instead of just stuffing the, uh, soundboard in there on top of the battery pack and wrapping it with foam or something, so this has a nice, uh, almost like a, uh, I hate to say it, but a, a professional type finish to the, uh, internal setup on it. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully she likes it, uh, I like the way it turned out. Finally, it's finally gotten what uh, a lot of people said uh, <clears throat> was the soundboard deserved when it was first built. Uh, but, you know, I used what was available at the time. So there she is. That's uh, the CS15 version, uh, version two, I guess we call it. Uh, as usual, uh, you know, thanks for uh, thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.